Wow, he's right in the bush next to me. No way. Well, I mean, I don't think anyone would really be opposed to, like, going back to, you know, maybe the early 2000s, right? Early 2000s would be pretty good. Fuck that. Lag? And the wave resets, thank god. Uh, if you're in a wave, it will pull aggro. It's still you doing damage, right? It should pull aggro. Realistically. Any damage you deal will pull aggro. Unless you like, well, okay, to be fair, you could say it doesn't pull aggro if you shoot your W and it hits all of the minions at the same time and they can't see you, then it can't aggro you. Because it blinds minions. It blinds minions. How do you play Graves early game? You just poke. All this champ is is poking. Poke the enemy. Run away. Poke the enemy. Run away. Poke the enemy. I mean, in this instance, he did just flash me. I'm dead. I mean, okay. Darius is so goofy, bro. He flash slows you and then pulls you, and you're just kind of dead. To be fair. Kali gets an Empyrean skin. Empyrean skins are just kind of, like, lame. Empyrean skin line just has no personality. It's like a copy-paste type of thing. I think in the new ones, they looked a bit better, but... It's not very common. You dare slack on my ship! Tobias 2G. Tilted, thank you. Don't you stop. I delete it. Valorant will never be played again. That game is so shit. I'm dead. I'm deathly bored of that garbage. That's a garbage game. That's a garbage game. I'm not playing that crap. I gave it a chance, but I gave it too much of a chance. It just sucks. Terrible game. Well, League is a League has so much more going on though. 
And from a lore standpoint and from just an overall experience standpoint, League is infinitely better than Valorant. Valorant is soulless gaming at its heart. It was designed to be an eSport genre game and nothing more. It is so stale. It's staler than the fucking cheese under my toes that have been there since 92. It's horrible. I'm very surprised people like playing it, honestly. I feel like they just haven't played different games that are more fun or have more personality. It sucks. I can't vouch for that game. I tried to like it. I tried to give it a chance, but it's genuinely boring. Like, there might be hype moments where you get a bunch of headshots. Okay, great. But even then, it's just a stale, soulless game where, like, there's not even there's not even something to look forward to outside of the gameplay, and the gameplay sucks. Mochi, come it. Yeah, that game's poo-poo. Yeah, everyone has different tastes. I'm just saying, if you like Valorant, I think your tastes are kind of objectively shittier. I think that I think that's a statement that I will stay on and, and die on that hill. Valorant as a game is just it's so stale, bro. It's it's stale. You could say League is stale, but at least League has more going on. Gen Z and under. I mean, it just doesn't... It lacks heart. It lacks, like... I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know how people wake up and play that game all day. <laughs> like, uh, <coughs> I guess different people, different things. But, like, good God, brother. Good God, brother. You're saying their opinions are shitty is itself an opinion. It is, yeah. But their opinions are shitty. If you think Valorant is better than League of Legends, you know what Valorant made me do? It made me realize League a is a better game. That's what it successfully did. Ever read the Aliens comic about the android made to look like a xenomorph? It's funny yeah, seeing him interact with the human crew. Yeah, that was a little weird. Or they had like the suit. They had like the power suit, but it was an alien. The comics were crazy. Unfortunately, if this guy has a uh, flash, I'm dead. Wow, Darius the champion, by the way. Darius the top lane champion. Is he dead? Nah, bro. Unlucky. If I had Corrupting Potion, maybe he would have died, but, like, bro is invulnerable. He's gonna refund you 20 bucks? That's pretty good. I wouldn't, again, I'm telling you, dude, don't even buy, like, there's no point in buying the plastics, because they're all gonna come back. Like, maybe you can get a good deal on them, but even then, 
chances are they're gonna sell you like 40 fucking people in a unit. Who knows? Shit. Yeah. You can kill him before he can put half of his passive. You can't walk into Darius or you die automatically. Darius does not allow you to play the game because Darius is a champion in League of Legends. Little barrel. Let's roll. Quinn playing. Thank you, man. I mean, is he in the bush? I didn't see him. There he is. What a fucking annoying player. We don't flat. We don't ult. Hello? The fuck? Is he still here? Nope. Uh, this piss fed fucking echo. Um, okay. Okay. That's why he's top ten for the past thousand years. Well, the problem with Darius is that he takes no skill and he just stat checks you type of deal. All of his stuff is very consistent and very easy to do. I mean, he's a melee champ for God's sake. Most of them are. Because it's too boring. Listen, I don't play this game to be completely tryhard and number one. I just play it casually. Like, winning every game, spamming GP, that's just fucking boring, dude. It takes too much effort to try and play every game like you're here to win. It's just boring. His ult should not do true damage. I think it should. I just think the, the way the passive works in the ultimate, you just kind of die. Like, you just get shit on instantly. Like, look at these people, dude. These people are so miserable. It's like, okay. Yo, yo. Well, I would say the only reason I gave a fuck about tryharding, or at least would do it again, is for more of a personal thing, right? And that's like really trying to win every game no matter what. Because it is, it's just too much effort to sit here and give a shit about four other people who don't do the same for you. You know what I mean? And that's why I'm just chilling. Chilling is better for the mental. It's You're able to play more games because you don't get pissed off and want to leave, right? Like, it's just overall the better time. And I've been challenger. The only thing I could see myself doing is maybe trying to take on Graves to challenger or other characters to challenger just because I've already been challenger with TF and GP. So getting it again doesn't really feel like anything. Not really. Mm 
doing the same thing over and over again for the sake of viewers isn't necessarily succeeding. Every year tryharding in League of Legends, I mean, it's kind of boring. It's like, if you want to watch tryhard gameplay, just go to a different stream, dude. I'm fine with that. I don't really care. Go watch whoever, dude. Give work to do. Get on it. Chimpit, thank you, man. So the only two times I've climbed in recent history was last season I got GM with Graves. The previous season I got Challenger with GPTF. And that's like really, really going at it. But outside of that, I mean, I just... This season I got GM or like 300 LP Masters. And I'm like, eh. That's cool. I'm done. I'm alive. You get to a certain point in life where the things you valued previously, you don't value as much. You know what I mean? It's called kind of evolving as a person and finding other interests and hobbies and things to look forward to in life, not waking up every day and tryharding in League and not having fun. Right? It's just different, different times, different things happen. Like when you're young, like I started streaming when I was probably 17. I'm 27 now, almost 28. So 17, 18, high school, right? Right out of working. Like, you don't have taxes, you don't have priorities, you don't have anything, so of course you're going to devote a lot of time to playing a game, and you want to be really good at that game. But as things go on and life moves on, and you've got bills, and you've got family, and you've got other hobbies you're into, and you have exercising and all this other shit that you're kind of, like, either doing or looking forward to doing, like... Your days become more structured, life becomes more, uh, varied, right? That's the biggest thing. Because if I was still sitting in a basement, like the same 18-year-old I was 10 years ago, like, yeah, you know, maybe I'd still be tryharding, but, like, that's not life. <laughs> Playing a game at a high level, unless you're a professional player, is probably the only thing, realistically, that you'd be doing. Like, the things you... I'll tell you right now. The things you value at one point in your life won't be the same later on. Some things you can take with you and some things, you know, you'll still keep up with. But being good at a game, again, unless it's for a personal goal or you're a pro player, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to kind of consistently want something that you've used to want, you know, every day. Because once you've achieved that thing, it's like, well, where's the value in it anymore, right? If you've already been at the top, does being at the top mean anything to anyone, right? Does it mean anything to you? To viewers, it's like, oh my god, this guy's good, let's watch him. Okay, great, but like, people come, people go. I just want to chill, man. I'm almost 30 years old. I just want to chill and play the game and talk to people and hang out. That's all I care about doing these days. It's not that I don't play the win. It's just I don't play to constantly be the best. You know what I mean? Are the Graves buffs tomorrow? Are they really? I mean, he gets, what, attack speed? Crit? Okay, I think my team has been, uh... Do you see what I mean? Do you see why when you care about something so much, but that thing you care about is just so meaningless? That's basically what's happening in this chat right now. Look at these people. Like, these guys are just so frustrated, dude. I'm not about that shit anymore. I used to be that brain rotten, but like... Again, I'm almost 30. I got no time for this shit. I just want to enjoy myself while I play a game. 
Reload skills better with AS and more crit per pellet. Oh, I thought he was just getting attack speed. I'm not going to lie. That Yon needs to quit using a PC until he dies? Okay, so just say Yon shouldn't be allowed to use his PC ever again in his life. What? <laughs> I mean, this Yon is 1 in 13. We're bing chilling, bro. Listen, I ain't gonna sit here and lose sleep over a guy who's not really playing to win. 1 in 13? It's like, yeah, okay. I mean, 1 in 14? That's the beauty of top lane sometime. It's like, you just sit up here, lose the game for free, and you don't feel anything because you weren't even contributing to the loss. <laughs> Bro did not die. I mean, to be fair, if we can get Yon to like 120, he will probably get banned. I mean, realistically, you could also LPP him and he'd get banned, but like, that's too much work. I don't like top... Well, the biggest thing about top lane to me is that if you just want to play the game and forget about the rest of the world existing, play top lane. Because top lane not only isolates you, but half the time you can't even impact the game to the point where it matters if your team is losing. It's just the... It, it's the acceptance lane. That's what it is. It is the acceptance lane. Should move this up. All I do is play top. Like, this guy, this guy is just, he hates existing, dude. This guy hates waking up in the morning. His existence is pain. Like, holy shit, man. This guy's calling other people subhuman retards and fucks, and he's 1 in 16. Like, bro, come on, man. Like, I, I, I. Like, what is bro on about? Look at this. How old? I want to know. Is this guy like 15? 16? Yeah, man. This guy is a little bit angry. 15 at best. What a brain. Yeah, this guy's kind of, uh, this guy's kind of a character. Well, he's almost 1 in 20. Realistically, he should get permed. And realistically, I could LPP him. Realistically. If we can get him to 1 in 20, it'd be great. <laughs> this guy's talking about you lose to basic macro and all this shit, but the guy is like, come on. Come on. Well, good try. 
Okay, I think we do try to report him. But do I LPP report him? I haven't LPP'd anyone in so long, I just haven't been bothered to. Like... Is it worth the report? I think it's worth the report, but like, LPP, man, that's too much. Like, okay, this, this, this. Done. Ticket him! Okay, I'll do it later today.